Hi guys, so I have just filmed my drugstore starter kit. So if you want to know what I love from the drugstore, definitely check out that video. It will be going up before this one. But today I'm going to be filming my high-end favourite products. And I've got it all in this basket here. These are the things which are worth spending. If you want to start out, if you've you've experimented with drugstore makeup and you want to push the boat out a little bit more you want to try things out which are you know a bit more expensive you want to spoil yourself these are the things in my opinion to get starting with the face because that's usually what I start off with first the two foundations which I would recommend from from the drugstore keep in mind I have oily skin very oily skin I would recommend the YSL Fusion Ink and the Estee Lauder Double Wear. These are fabulous, fabulous for oily skin. This lasts all day. It's a full coverage, full on double wear foundation. When you're wearing this, you will have no imperfection. Your face will look flawless. It will last all day. I find that this photographs really well looks great on camera in my opinion i have the color amber honey which right now is a little bit dark for me so i had to mix it with my pro long wear concealer in nc45 just to bring the shade up a little bit the next foundation which i'm going to be talking about here is the is the YSL Fusion Ink. This is a fairly recent foundation. I got this because I really wanted to try the Touche Claire foundation, but I heard that that was, that was a foundation more drawn to people with dry skin. So I was really excited to hear that YSL did a formula for oily skin. I had to pick it up. There was no, I had to, it had to be done. Um, so this is about £30. I managed to get it for 25 because Debenhams were doing some sort of a sale. This is a medium coverage foundation. This, when you put it on your skin, feels so soft. It leaves your skin feeling smooth. It controls oil, but not as good as the Estee Lauder Double Wear, but it definitely controls oil. It lasts all day, looks good all day. Concealer, we all know I was going to say this. MAC Pro Long Wear. Best concealer ever, 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 ever. I just love this. And mine is running out and I need to go buy another one. I have bought this concealer multiple times and I will continue to buy it but they have put the prices up for some sort of reason not really sure why and mine is in the colour NC45 love this for blushes I love two blushes the most I love MAC Gleeful this is my go to if I don't know what to wear and I want something which is just going to look great on my complexion make me look warm glow from within because it has a slight sheen on it MAC Gleeful is the one that I go to. This is about £18 nowadays and the packaging is different. Um, but if you want to spend a little bit more money, you want to push the boat out just a little bit, NARS. NARS blushes are the best. This is in Exhibit A, which is a bright red colour. Looks fantastic on dark skinned women. The highlighter of choice, which is actually limited which is actually limited edition, but it may come out again if it does pick this up. This is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Magnetic Appeal. Um, mine's actually cracked. So this is a gorgeous gorgeous highlighter i've got it on today it makes literally makes me look like i'm glowing from within it's very smooth very creamy just kind of blends onto the skin doesn't look blotchy patchy anything this is great for lip products some lips products which i have recently discovered are the bobby brown lip glosses i got these two for christmas i have the color buffer which is a lighter pinky colour and I also have Nude 8 which is a dark movie lip gloss love them, they last all day, they're a little bit sticky but these last all day I quite like sticky lip glosses, call me strange, I like sticky lip glosses because it lasts all day and I know that it's on my lips, I hate lip glosses where you like where you can rub on your lips too much, I don't like that kind of smooth feeling, I like to I like the sticky lip glosses and these are sticky lip glosses. This is one lipstick but I didn't want to show up. I didn't want to bring all my lipsticks because it would be a bit too much. MAC lipsticks. If you haven't tried MAC lipsticks, 
where have you been this is like the the best thing ever these lipsticks are so great i have tried out other lipsticks i have tried a ysl lipstick mac lipsticks they're about 15 pounds i would definitely recommend these over the ysl lipsticks these are so much better they last all day there is a variety of shades if you're after a color and you haven't found it in the drugstore hands down you're gonna find it at mac and the last two products are eyeshadows. So the first eyeshadows I'm going to be showing you are from MAC. The first one which I really like is, is Amber Lights. That there is Amber Lights. This is one of them colours where you pop in the centre of your lids and your inner lids. And wow. Wow, wow, wow. It just makes your eyeshadows, yeah, it just makes your eyes stand. So yeah, my next favourite eyeshadow from MAC is is mac all that glitters and that is mac all that glitters it's just next to amber lights this is the kind of color where if you don't know what to wear you pop all that glitters on your lid simple as that beautiful it looks great on all complexions on lighter women it's one of them everyday kind of colors on darker women like myself it's one of them colors where you just want to brighten up your face you don't want too much you don't want too much going on and it's actually one of them colors where you can just wear it on its own pop it on the lid easy you can just go blend it out a little easy as that the last eyeshadow from mac which i love is woodwinked and this is the most pigmented creamiest color ever and that is woodwinked just there looks like a brown brown antique color but it's like a golden warm golden color you pop it over the lid looks great on dark women looks great on every single woman but i think especially on black women dark women it looks amazing it just makes your eyes pop it looks great on brown eyes makes your eyes pop makes my complexion pop this is just the bomb this these three eyeshadows from mac are hands down the best eyeshadows i have if i was to recommend any i would recommend these three these are very creamy eyeshadows they have zero fallout they last all day they last long they last the longest on the lids without creasing i could literally wear this for 12 hours and it would look amazing then if you want a palette where you can just kind of get you know have all the eyeshadows in one palette it's going to have to be a Naked palette from Urban Decay. This was the first Naked palette. And as you can see, the colours are just there. This is also one of them palettes where you could literally do all kinds of looks in it. You could do a shimmery, bronzy look. You can do greys. There's the black. You can do pinky colours. You can do light colours. There's two matte shades, which I don't actually benefit from those two matte shades. But I can imagine if you have light, um, if you're white or you're lighter complected, you could probably use these colours as transition colours. But I don't use it for that. They just don't work out as well. My favourite colours from this eyeshadow palette is Smog and Half Baked. And Half Baked is very similar to Woodwinks from MAC. If you, you know, if you want to just get one palette, get this one these colors are very pigmented but on the flip side they're not as creamy as mac and they're a little they have a lot more fallout that is what i would say about this palette but it's one of them things where you want to start out with eyeshadows i would definitely recommend this when you want to when you feel like you um want to experiment more with eyeshadows that's when i would recommend the mac ones but if you want to just get one palette where you have everything you can create multiple looks try the naked palette so yeah guys, that was the video. That was my high-end starter kit. I hope you guys enjoyed my videos. Um, I hope that you subscribe, comment and rate. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.